Hold in. And away they go from that 1700 meter mark. Hawkbill's outside of runners, and uh, Royal Edition is there between them. Then Guy Gibson a few lengths off the leader. Hata Ruby is back there at the fence now, about three or four lengths off them with King's Express further back in the field. Then we go back to Pewter Sky, races behind that. XL and Rennie is just outside of him. She's about five or six lengths off the leader. Now they negotiate the 1,200, and that is Hawkbill in front. Hawkbill leads it by a length and a bit to Royal Edition. Guy Gibson outside of them. Hotter Ruby with a hit to the side is three or four lengths off the leader. Then King's Express outside of them. Pewter Sky further back in the field. Rennie's going to swing for home about five lengths off the leader. And exhales the trailer. 800 meters left to go, and out in front is Hawkbill with Guy Gibson now moves up on its outside. There's not much separating the two of them at the moment. Then it's Royal Addition to the inside of them. Pewter Sky a length length off the leader, being followed by Hata Ruby. King's Express and Rennie is trying to get into it. She's about three or four lengths off the leader. Guy Gibson now switches on and goes right up to Hawkbill. And now it's Guy Gibson who takes over as they go past the 300. And Guy Gibson is the one to beat. Hawkbill is back there at the rail. Then they're three or four lengths away to Rennie who's in the middle. But it's Guy Gibson who has a half a length lead over there from Hawkbill. Rennie is trying to turn it on in the centre coming at Guy Gibson. But Guy Gibson has timed it beautifully. Guy Gibson, Hawkbill, Rennie was behind that and Pewter the sky ending end up running in the money but take nothing away from guy gibson hawkbill runs a big race nothing wrong with his run at all under richard Ferry and gavin larina those two come to fight it out hawkbill made guy gibson run and work for all it's worth past the final 150 but guy gibson does go on better the lancaster bomber and stay on to win the opening leg of the jackpot Well, we weren't disappointed by race five, as I said to me, outside the uh, feature races of the afternoon. This was a race certainly to look forward to a mouth-watering contest, which it proved it to be. With the guy Gibson down in grade again after that uh, decent run in at the Dingans coming through to win and winner for the Magnus Stable. A stable, I think, we'll discuss in a short while. We've been pulling for for so long, and uh, that win has come, and I'm sure that'll be the change of luck. But the man who is responsible for making sure that guy Gibson was ready to come through and win is Mr. Sampi Sampi. Thank you so much. There is uh, money from World Sports Betting. Uh, do uh, have a good afternoon ahead, and uh, may you continue to look after Guy Gibson well. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. All right, well, in my preview, I did say the man has been an absentee in uh, the number one box, but again, he just points out to me, he did have Sheldon scratched. I forgot about that. So that is one of his excuses. But he's made it here, yeah? and you, know, you can't keep a good man down. A good finish, Gav. Nice, uh, very nice, yes, thank you. Um, I think he's been lacking a bit of confidence to source, and Mr. Meg's at the blinkers on today. Uh, his work was good at home with the with the scoops on, and it's nice that he's brought it to the track. Yeah, that uh, last run in the Dengars was over 16, so the extra 100 obviously was uh, within his stride, huh? Yeah, um, I think he's going to be a pretty versatile type of horse, but uh, he, he enjoyed the long straight today, and I was able to let him gallop quite early, and it was a good one. Right, it is uh, still a few more races to go. We don't want to uh, jinx or anything. <laughs> Onward, upward, but uh, what is your best for the, for the rest of the afternoon? Yeah, I've got one more left, uh, Shivana in the World Sports Betting Heritage. Uh -huh. um, he's doing really well at home, mm -hmm. obviously very competitive field, but I'm hoping for each way chance. Yeah, wish you well. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. Big thank you to Mr. Moore and to... Adrian Nidem. Adrian Nidem. Uh, these are his silks. Uh -huh. Uh, we go back a long way, and it's it's great to win in these socks. So well done to him, to Casey, to Mr. Meg's whole team. Well done to Volkerbos Drifter and Mirsfontein. Thank you very much. And to World Sports Betty for a fantastic day. Uh, to Warren Tanners, to Bob Urim and the whole team. Well done to all Steve of you. Steve Karam, otherwise he Steve won't Karen, uh, be looking after us later. Steve Karam. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. And always a pleasure to Gav. Thanks very much. Thank, thank you, you very so, much. so much. All right, let's uh, talk uh, to the uh, trainer. And uh, it's Casey. We haven't met, but we have seen many, much of you. Please come closer. 
We've been pulling with the stable. I can cross this off my list now. There's a list of stables that I've said they've got to get back to their winning ways and we will be uh, back to smiling ways. And uh, hopefully this is a turning point. You've been there or thereabouts with your horses, but Guy Gibson has come through. Yeah, you know, we've got some lovely horses in the barn currently. Just been a bit unfortunate not to get into the winner's box, but lots of places. And I, yeah, I'm sure it's onwards and upwards from here. But huge congratulations to Mr. Moore and to Adrian. You know, they support the stable in such a big way. And it's nice that this boy's back in the winner's box. He's got all the ability in the world as Gavin said, maybe just lacking a little bit of confidence and with the blinkers fitted today, yeah, he's back in the box. Yeah, we saw that at the end of last season, towards the end of last season, always up there with uh, the so-called cream of uh, their generation, so not far off them. And obviously took that last run in the Dingans well for you to have him back so soon. Yeah, no, he took that last run well. Um, as Gavin said, you know, he just needed a bit of a strong ride just to get his confidence up there. Those previous runs were very good. He's had some hard luck stories. Um, I mean, that run at Scottsville when he was so interfered with. So lovely to see him back in winning ways. Right. The word or expression hard luck is one we don't want to have uh, anymore with uh, Roy Magna. I hope this is the return to winning ways. Thank you so much. And well done to Mr. Magna and to his connections. Thank you so much. Accept the vouchers on behalf of the trainer and the ownership. Are the ownership here? No, they're not here, so Casey will accept them as well. So again, once again, apologies uh, to the uh, groom from uh, the uh, previous winning connections, and that is Patrick. We omitted him, and uh, that uh, certainly was not uh, with any malice, and I uh, certainly do not feel very happy about that. But uh, Sampi, we saw him. He's uh, taking his check, and hopefully we will uh, be associating and uh, mixing up with the rest of uh, the uh, connections for the remainder of the afternoon. And don't forget, there is that uh, groom's race that comes through after the running of our last uh, equine race, and there is a good incentive for all the participants in that. So don't go away. We will be showing that. I believe we will be covering that after race nine.